everybody! Today I'm going to make really unique dish. Jellyfish. Edible jellyfish. There are tons of different kinds of jellyfish, but it's edible. Be sure. <laughs> but you don't have to worry about it. You go to Korean grocery store, they already pre-cut and then package it. This is in Korean hepari. So we are going to make hepari nengche in English jellyfish salad. This is my favorite dish. Probably you will say, oh, Mangchi always favorite, her favorite. Yes, I love many, many different kinds of food. Probably you might have seen this kind of dish. Hepari nengche, when you go to buffet, restaurant especially, this is like really like a mountain. Always popular. It's my favorite. I keep, keep bringing and eating maybe two times, three times. Because I love the texture. It's sliced and now shredded and salted, lots of lots of salt. This is one pound package after washing this and it's going to be only five ounce. Let's make really cold and refreshing, delicious hepari nengche together. Let's start. You see, all this salt, so let's wash. Get that salt. Here you go. I'm going to soak this in cold water for one hour. One hour later, I will just blanch this. One hour ago, I did it already, you see? Just now I start soaking. And this is one hour ago, softer than this. And I'm going to strain this. Four cups of boiling water. I'm going to add two cups cold water. Why? Because I wanna lower the temperature of this water so that jellyfish is going to be nicely, nicely blanched. Otherwise, jellyfish is so shrunk. So really also getting tough. This is around 160, 160 Fahrenheit and 70 Celsius. So what I'm going to do is I will just add here and then 10 seconds, 10 seconds just to blanch. I turn off, I just, uh, there is no heat here. One, two, three, 10. Then, let's strain this. One piece <laughs> missing. So, look at this. Now, I'm going to rinse in cold water and soak another hour. I'm soaking this and meanwhile, I'm going to make Keranjidan and prepare something that you know, also I have to make sauce. First, I'm going to make Keranjidan, yellow egg strips and white egg strips. Pinch of salt. So I'm going to turn on the heat. When I made this some egg garnish, it's really pretty. And I'm so surprised, so impressed by your skill too. You guys are making really nicely. This egg white first went through my strainer. And then this is a hot. I will just, this pan, remove from the heat. And then, it's cooking oil and With the leftover heat in the pan, this egg white is going to be slowly, slowly, it will be cooked. Meanwhile, egg yolk. The 
some stringy stuff, we just remove them. So that we will have some, when I make this egg strips, all even, even color. This egg white is like half cooked, but I need to cook a little longer. Turn off, just like really, really low heat. That's the most important thing, so that color is always keep it white. Egg white is very difficult to make because you need to be very patient. See? Nice. Same method, it is a hot. And I will just add one drop of oil. And, and then turn off. This is just only maybe 30 seconds or one minute and after it's set you know, on the bottom. I will just turn over. I'm making sauce. This is a gyojakgaru. It's a mustard seed, Korean mustard seed powder. I always keep in the freezer. One tablespoon gyojakgaru and then it's warm water, one tablespoon. Same amount and mix. This is very spicy, spicy and make this sauce really, really nice flavor. And, and also I will add lots of garlic. When I lived in Korea, I used to make this kind of you know, sauce only using garlic. So we call this garlic sauce. But this one is half of mustard seed powder and half of garlic. Meanwhile, my yellow egg is done. See, pretty. Then now. So sweet and sour and salty. So first, let's start with the salt. Salt, one teaspoon. I will add soy sauce, half teaspoon to make it sweet. Sugar, one tablespoon plus one teaspoon. And then vinegar. So white vinegar, three tablespoons. Just so this is optional, but when you add honey, one teaspoon, it will really much a good flavor. Stir this until well melted. Nice. As long as you have this sauce, just any vegetables you can just mix with, make a salad, you know. So this is gyoza manel sauce, mustard garlic sauce we made. And I'll just cover and keep in the refrigerator and make it cold. Now I'm going to take care of other ingredients. We need cucumber, and pear, this is Korean pear, and this is a crab meat. We use it just all together, really, really go well with that sauce. But most important ingredients is a hepari. Hepari is a you know, jellyfish. Around the half is enough. And then cut like this. It's about two and a half inch. So I'm going to make matchsticks. Like this, until seeds center. Just cut, you see, you can see. And then this part too. And here too. And this one, eat, good. I'm going to bring them my serving plate. Serving plate should be really kept in the refrigerator. It should be really, really cold. Next, this crab meat. And then this egg yolk and egg white. white. 
This is has to be really cold. I will just cover this and then put back into my refrigerator. Now, one hour passed. So now, it's a little softer than before. Good. I'm going to strain this and also season it. Let me taste this. Check just a little bit. Mmm. Can you hear the crunchy sound? The texture, that's what I want. So let's strain this. So I'm going to squeeze out the excess water and put it here. We gotta season this. Two teaspoons sugar and half a teaspoon salt. Vinegar one tablespoon and mix. Mix until all sugar and salt is well dissolved. This guys are sweet and sour, crunchy, something delicious. So I will keep in the refrigerator. Everything has to be cold. At least one hour. One hour after it's going to be chilled. And then we just mix this and then pour sauce and eat. <laughs> That's it. Before cutting this my pear, I will just make a cold water, cold ice water, and about three cups, about one teaspoon sugar. Add and stir this. This sugar will stop this pear from going brown. So we need this, a little bit sugar, and let's peel. Let's see, <laughs> one strip, <laughs> done. Okay. okay my jellyfish is now cold. I will bring all everything. And now, what we have to do is just arrange. Jellyfish absorbed all this juice. Before adding, I will add one drop of sesame oil. So, hepari nengche is done. Just pour this sauce. And pine nuts. And I need a small plate. You know, you serve this for four people and then four small plates. So mix first like this. Spicy kick. Mm. This is real delicacy. Sweet, and sour, refreshing, crunchy. There's also spicy kick and pine nuts, a little bit pine nuts. This is amazing. Today, we made Hepari Nengche, jellyfish salad. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.